The Nishio tea fields span approximately 80 acres. Let us take a closer look at how the plucked leaves become matcha. When the young buds start to develop in early April, field workers begin covering the entire plantation with black sheets. The process of shading the tea fields for a certain amount of time before harvest is an integral part of matcha production. By limiting the tea plant's exposure to sunlight, it increases photosynthesis, making the leaves bright green. It also increases L-theanine, an amino acid in the tea leaf, and lowers tannin, keeping the astringency mild. L-theanine provides a natural sweetness, and shade growing enhances the color profile and unique aroma of the tea. The fields are also equipped with industrial fans that turn on automatically when the air drops below a certain temperature. When the young leaves mature in early May, also referred to as Hachiju Hachiya, or 88 nights starting from February 3rd, the long-awaited harvest season begins. The traditional method of plucking each tea leaf by hand is still utilized today. The plucked leaves are immediately carried to the Aracha factory. This is where the tea leaves begin their journey. First, the leaves are transported by conveyor belt and steamed in a large machine to prevent oxidation. Here it appears as if butterflies are floating in the air. The steamed leaves are blown in the air to remove moisture. This process, which is unique to matcha production, also prevents leaves from sticking to one another. The leaves are then ushered into a matcha kiln where they are dried at a temperature of approximately 180 degrees centigrade, which along with the duration is adjusted to each day's weather. Compared to fresh picked leaves, the transformation is clear. The leaves weigh approximately one-fifth of the original leaf. Tea at this stage is called aracha. The aracha is then transported to the refining factory. Thanks to an exclusive relationship with the farmers, there is a steady stream of aracha delivered to Aya. The first process is to determine the grade of the tea. The delivered leaves are not all the same quality. In order to maintain consistency, the leaves must be divided into grades in order to assess their overall quality. The leaves undergo color, aroma, texture, and tasting tests. These procedures greatly affect the blend and are in place to ensure that matcha supplies are consistent. The leaves are passed through various machines in order to refine the tea by removing their stems and veins and cutting them into uniform sizes. The trimmed tea leaves are then blended in a huge tank. Aya has been perfecting this blending method for decades and this process allows Aya to produce tencha and therefore matcha that are consistent for each grade in terms of color, flavor and aroma. The most important aspects of matcha are color, flavor, and aroma. The color should be a vibrant spring green, and you should taste a delicate astringency that blossoms in your mouth. The aroma is mild and sweet. However, this does not guarantee that each tea leaf contains a balanced amount of these aspects. This is why blending plays an integral part in enhancing the desirable characteristics of each leaf. Upon proper blending, our team segments different levels of quality into several different grades of matcha, sometimes unique to each customer. The last stages of processing are conducted at the matcha manufacturing plant, where tencha is ground by specialized granite mills and formed into matcha. The grinding takes place in the clean room, where the temperature and humidity are kept at a constant, and airborne bacteria are removed by an industrial filter. 
The average particle size of much is around 5 to 10 microns, and one grinder can produce 40 grams, or one ounce, only a handful of matcha per hour. However, in order to turn the delicate tensha leaves into matcha, while still preserving its color, flavor and aroma, the granite mill is a necessary tool.